Hi YouTube, Alice and Kevin here, back with another video. We just got back from Costco and Save On and this is everything we bought today. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Turn on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we have a new video or recipe. It really allows us to help as many people as possible. So the first item we got today are these Costco beef back ribs. These beef ribs are always in our rotation. The main way we cook them is low and slow in the oven. We have a recipe on our channel on how to make them. Perfect and tender every time. Something that we've been getting recently are these top sirloin cap steaks. We were eating ribeyes and other strip loins quite often and we thought we'd switch it up. The sirloins are really tasty as well. They have a really great beefy flavor. Definitely has a different type of texture than ribeyes or strips. It's more kind of like a roast beef sort of texture. Something that is also another staple is the Costco organic ground beef. It's 85.15. We'll basically eat this every single day or at least every other day. A lot of recipes on our channel on how to make this. Uh, you can make it in burgers, taco bowls, cheeseburger bowls, or just have it sauteed straight. Red meat makes up probably the majority of our diet, probably over 70%. And then we kind of have some other meats on the side. Red meat is definitely the biggest source of our nutrition. Another huge part of our diet are eggs. They are organic free range eggs. If you can find them at a good price, try and get pasture raised eggs as well. Those are even healthier for you. Going down the list on foods we occasionally eat on the carnivore diet is pork. We picked up a couple of different pork products today. One that we love to make are these pork back ribs. We have two different styles of back ribs in our channel. One is a Greek style back rib and one is barbecue flavor. So we also went to Save On Foods today, which is a smaller grocery store here in Canada. I don't think you guys have it in the US. But because it's just Kevin and I eating all this food, sometimes the portions at Costco are a little bit too big for us. Um, so I just bought a small pack of ground pork. I'm gonna make some meatballs by mixing the ground pork and the ground beef this week. I do have a carnivore friendly recipe for meatballs, which I'll leave a link up top that you can check out if you'd like. And then these sausages are by Greenfield. So we've tried their bacon before. Their bacon's pretty clean, um, probably the cleanest that we've ever found. And recently we stumbled upon these sausages that are pretty tasty. We brought them to a barbecue once. Just smoked sausages, pretty clean ingredients. Pork water, salt, celery extract, vinegar, a little bit of cane sugar for the curing process, spice, garlic powder, and smoke. They're very tasty and they don't have nitrites, which is something that we look for. Sometimes we buy fresh fish, but lately we've just been doing canned salmon for convenience. So this is a four pack. This one's from Costco. This is wild sockeye. We usually eat this for breakfast or for lunch. We usually mix it with a little bit of primal kitchen mayo, some capers. Kevin will just eat it plain straight up, but I find it to be a little bit too fishy. It's a really good source of omega-3 DHAs. Along with that, we also get some canned sardines. Unfortunately, Save On Foods doesn't carry the Wild Planet brand that we really like. I think only Whole Foods has it, but these are pretty good too. These ones are boneless and skinless, but generally speaking, the ones with skin and bone are healthier. I usually mix this with mayo in the morning and just have it as a side with my eggs. And when you look for sardines, one tip is just to make sure you're looking for uh, a package that contains just water and salt. A lot of sardines uh, and canned fishes are usually stored in oils, which we don't want. And we got this pack of Harvati cheese. Add this to my eggs, add this as a side for some additional fat. Harvati is my favorite type of cheese. And then we picked up some sour cream and Greek yogurt. These are both from Save On Foods. The macros on these are pretty good. These are both organic and grass fed and probably the lowest carb content that I found in a yogurt. I don't eat more than a cup a day anyways, but this is really good. I just eat this plain. And the sour cream is just something that we add to our taco bowls and our carnitas whenever we make them. We'll leave another link up top for our pork carnitas recipe. The rest of the things we got today are kind of like the snacks that we have. Um, so these, this pack, these are just beef sticks from Costco. One of the cleaner beef sticks that we found. No nitrates or sketchy ingredients. It's pretty much just pure beef with some spices and salt. These are pretty tasty. They kind of taste like little pepperoni sticks. We go through these pretty quickly. <laughs> They're a great snack. This is a new product from Costco for the longest time. Our Costco only sold the Parmesan flavor, but now they've introduced like a mixed bag, cheddar and Parmesan, and so pretty excited to try that. And these are basically just 100% cheese. They are very carnivore friendly. 13 grams of fat, 13 grams of protein. This is kind of like a low carb way of getting chips to satisfy that uh, crunch if you miss that while you're on the carnivore diet. Speaking of chips, we also got two bags of pork rinds. 
Our Costco used to sell a big tub of pork rinds and unfortunately we think they discontinued it because we haven't seen it for a while. A little bit sad, so we have to go to the smaller stores and it's you know, not as cost effective as Costco is, but these still taste pretty good. And these are just pure pork rinds with the lard as the fat. If you liked our carnivore haul today or found it helpful, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. It really allows us to help as many people as possible. Leave a comment down below and let us know what your staples are on the carnivore diet. Until next time.